Okay guys, part three in the series. I've put the elevator and rudder on the back of the tail plane there and I've added the receiver and a couple of servos and rigged them up. So It's a bit rough and ready. I need to tie those wires up so they don't flap around in the wind. Use barbecue skewers for the linkage from the servo back to the what I used to call the horn actually. Elevator horn and rudder horn. to actually double up the barbecue skewers because they're not long enough normally. But we're there. <laughs> I've made this as cheap and nasty as possible. That's um, parcel tape for hinges. So the next thing to do will be to go and throw it and see what happens. All I want to be able to do is launch this down a gentle slope in our local park and see if I can make it turn. don't think we can really expect much more than that. But if I can get it to turn to left and right, I'll have had a radio controlled glider. So guys, time for a summary I guess. Our polystyrene pizza tray glider is now radio controlled. Um, it does fly, which is something. Uh, in testing, the rudder is much too small. Uh, the elevator needs a bit of adjustment as well. The plane is probably a bit heavy because it's not been made from lightweight material but it flies the next question is do I take it somewhere a bit steeper so it can fly a bit further or it may even fly better with a bit of wind because there was absolutely no wind today funnily enough it's picked up a bit now that we've finished um, or the other thing is do I put a motor on it so we'll have to think about that because it's not a very strongly built plane, it's only hot glued together. So I don't know if it could actually take a motor. I'll have to think about it. We'll have another go some other time.